Okwecho. Please be seated. Le Président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Now, I'd like to touch upon the schedule for final claim on reparations and timetable for future trials. The lead co lawyers have requested clarification regarding the scheduling of their final claim on reparations and a timetable for future trials in case zero zero true. Du dépôt de leur demande finale de réparation, ainsi qu'un calendrier pour Chambers les futurs procès de dossier de comme la Chambre l'a, comme il a été indiqué dans la deuxième décision de disjonction de la Chambre de première instance, la capacité de la Chambre de première instance de tenir d'autres procès dépendra de certains facteurs, notamment l'attitude à être jugé des accusés. Qu'il reste that are currently unknown, ces facteurs sont inconnus à l'heure actuelle, and which are beyond the control of the chamber. Et ce sont des facteurs sur lesquels la chambre n'a aucun contrôle. It will therefore hold a status conference late in 2013 to reassess the situation. pour réévaluer la situation. Deadlines for the submission of reparations claims will also be communicated later in the year. It année. follows that final submissions on reparation are not expected imminently. The Chamber will shortly indicate whether the lead co lawyers prioritize the for implementation bientôt. via project management. Si uh, considered by the Chamber to appropriately give effect to be suffered by Chambre, as the result of crimes charged in case 002-01 pursuant to Internal Rule 23 Status of translations on 28 February and 5 March 2013, respectively, the co-prosecutors and the co-lawyers indicated that they would have difficulty in meeting the Chamber's deadline of 4 March 2013 for the completion of all pending translation requests. La fin de toutes les demandes de traduction, toujours en suspens. Since that date, the parties have Depuis indicated that considerable progress has been made on all pending requests. Que les de the Chamber que also indicated in advance of the trial management meeting La Chambre aussi indiqué avant la that de it agreed with the co-prosecutor's submission that certain categories of documents, documents self-evidently do not require translation such as photos, pas, diagrams, pas de drawings, comme les photos, or maps, les diagrams, and des video excerpts played in les court qui ont été that have already been translated in the transcripts. Et the Chamber agrees and has further indicated that it will entertain any reasonable request that would enable Et any translation backlog to be resolved at the latest tu diras By les demandes in case zero raisonnables zero qui permettraient de régler one. des arriérés de traduction au plus tard, au moment des réquisitoires Can plaidoiries dans le dossier 002 Les parties peuvent-elles confirmer well on their way to que toutes les questions de traduction toujours pendantes to sont sur le point d'être résolues of closing Et arguments se Namely, vont terminer October avant la date probable des réquisitoires et plaidoiries, à savoir au début du mois d'octobre 2013. La parole est à l'accusation. The Merci, short Président. answer to that question is I, I believe um, oh. that they will be able oui. to complete que translations of all de les uh, significant uh, pieces of evidence on which the parties are relying. Um, there has been progress since our filing 
Nous avons en effet progressé de nous avons indiqué dans nos filets que nous avons donné quelques estimations sur le nombre de documents qui restaient à traduire. Je pense que nous avons espéré que la plupart de ces documents seraient terminés par maintenant, peut-être parce que les difficultés de la majorité de ces documents ont été traduits dans le cours aujourd'hui, mais en raison des difficultés qu'a connu le tribunal dans la période notamment la période pendant laquelle les services de traduction n'étaient peut-être pas disponibles. But it appears to me that the number of documents that remain to be translated is fairly, fairly minimal. Um, with some of the caveats that the court has noted from our filing, let me just uh, give you uh, a couple of pieces of specific information uh, of the uh, witness statements uh, and complaints that the prosecutors I have recently requested uh, that be uh, put before the chamber and admitted, uh, which um, my number was somewhere around 1,050. Um, all of those are available in English. All but one of the 1,050 are available in Khmer. And that appears to be an issue dealing with the fact that it is a handwritten document is the only reason it's not been translated. And of the 1,050, there are only 19, 19 that remain to be translated into French. Um, similarly, uh, when I looked at the E3 documents that have already been admitted uh, by the Chamber, um, taking out documents such as videos, photographs, maps uh, that the court has recognized, there is a rel relatively small number that remain to be translated. Uh, as we've indicated, there's, there's a couple of other issues on which we would uh, uh, seek guidance from the chamber. Uh, one of the uh, areas in which there are remaining documents to be translated are S-21 prisoner lists. Les listes de prisonniers de S21 now, qui reste à um, traduire. there are approximately 150 of these that lack translations in all three languages. Dans qui pas uh, été our traduit position dans has langues. been uh, that um, these are documents that are in Khmer originals. Nous, These are lists of names of people. Uh, if you look at documents that have either an English or French translation already, uh, that cuts the number in half that would need translations. And our proposal in the fi our filing uh, was that with documents such as this, which are lists of names, that it would um, the parties certainly can appreciate and adequately understand the evidence if they are in Khmer, their Khmer original, and either an English or French translation, since we are dealing with lists of names. Uh, that would français, also make it much, much easier for CMS to complete the remaining translations in the next few months. Uh, sometimes they have more available resources to translate into English. Sometimes they have more available resources to translate into French. They are constantly communicating with us about those resources. But if we were able to tell them that with regard to this one category of documents, it can be either an English or French translation, uh, that would facilitate things. Uh, other than that, I believe it would be in a uh, quite good position on the translations. Donc, je pense uh, the one other issue that the court, I think, should be aware of and is aware of is that there are a number of long, long documents, such as books, documents the book written by Philip Short. Exemple, um, Philip Short. There are some long documents, such Certains as the monthly Quibus reports, les, where the parties Quibus. have only translated the parts that they consider les to en fait be relevant. Simplement les extraits uh, some excerpts as well have been used Certains in court and read lus. and translated there. Uh, en audience, ont été my uh, expectation is not only from the prosecution but also from the defense that the one area where there may be some realizations defense, that um, so oh, there's an excerpt that I would like to rely on from this long document and it hasn't been translated. Si this is the one area that I think when the parties do the briefs uh, that they may uh, decide, come to realize that there's this particular page that hasn't been translated.
So I think that it would be helpful if there was some flexibility. Uh, these types of limited exceptions Donc, are things that can be rectified fairly quickly. Um, but I wanted to bring that to the Court's attention because that is one area that I think could arise as the parties prepare their final briefs. But other than that, I think we're in good position on the translation. En résumé, nous sommes en assez bonne position sur la question des traductions. Oh. Le Merci. Thank you. Lead call lawyer for Merci. civil parties. Du la parole possible. est à la partie civile. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais Thank répondre d'abord à votre question et j'aimerais être autorisé également à aborder très I'll rapidement les deux I autres may, points que vous avez évoqués, c'est-à-dire les autres procès et les réparations. Mais d'abord, sur euh, la question des traductions, alors je pense qu'en ce qui nous concerne, nous serons en mesure d'avoir euh, l'intégralité de nos documents traduits d'ici à un à deux mois, d'après ce que nous a indiqué le service des traductions. Nous avons encore une soixantaine de documents à faire traduire et euh, j'ai un nombre de pages qui m'a été communiqué qui est de 317 pages, je ne sais pas si ça intéresse la Chambre. Donc nous devrions pouvoir avoir ces traductions assez prochainement. Cela dit, je soutiens la remarque de M. le procureur quant à une certaine flexibilité et quant à la possibilité de n'avoir de traduction qu'en anglais ou en français pour ne pas retarder indéfiniment les, euh, ce procès. Voilà pour la question des traductions. En ce qui concerne les procès suivants, je voudrais simplement faire une remarque. J'ai bien entendu ce que la Chambre avait indiqué, mais en fait, notre préoccupation est plutôt par rapport au problème de droit que poserait euh, la, la suite des procès 00202, 002, 03, etc. Notre, nous avons bien conscience qu'il y a des facteurs qui sont inconnus de la Chambre et qui, bien sûr, contraindront la Chambre à agir d'une façon ou d'une autre. Mais ce que nous aimerions savoir, c'est si la Chambre a une position par rapport, par exemple, à la question de l'autorité de la chose jugée. Est-ce qu'il est possible d'engager un deuxième procès sans avoir la décision du premier ou sans avoir la décision d'appel C'est cette question de droit que nous nous posons et à laquelle nous aimerions savoir si la Chambre a une réponse en droit sur ces questions qui, bien sûr, relèvent de sa compétence exclusive. Et je pense que c'est important aussi pour la préparation des dossiers suivants. Donc nous souhaiterions avoir une réponse en regard à ce qui a été dit par la Chambre dans les paragraphes 154 et 155 de sa deuxième décision de disjonction. En ce qui concerne les réparations, nous avons noté donc que des dates nous seraient données. Est-ce que la Chambre peut nous indiquer si ce sera avant ou après le mémoire final Simplement cette indication, ça nous aiderait pour la rédaction de ce mémoire sur les réparations. Et enfin, dernière chose sur les réparations. Euh, je, je vous prie de m'excuser, mais j'ai eu une traduction de la dernière partie de votre commentaire, Monsieur le Président, qui ne m'a pas permis de comprendre ce que vous nous demandiez par rapport à l'article 23, 3b. Et je crois qu'en anglais, c'était également problématique. Est-ce que je peux vous demander de nous redire ce que la Chambre nous indique à propos de cet article 23, 3b Et si j'ai bien compris ou deviné, c'est à propos du lien entre nos projets et euh, les faits allégués. Est-ce que je peux vous demander à nouveau de nous dire ce que vous nous avez dit tout à l'heure Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Voilà, je crois que ce qui était, de, ce qui était indiqué, euh, c'est euh, si les euh, projets qui ont été... Euh, proposés comme étant des projets prioritaires pour leur mise en œuvre euh, seront considérés comme étant euh, seront considérés par la Chambre comme étant euh, comme donnant euh, véritablement 
apportant une réparation effective aux souffrances subies par les victimes comme résultant des crimes dont sont, euh, qui sont visés dans le dossier 002-01, conformément à la règle du règlement intérieur 23.5.3b. Voilà, j'espère que cette précision est suffisamment claire. I hope that is clear. President uh, Judge Kilbride will take the floor in order to clarify on the request by the legal lawyer concerning race judicata issue. Please take the floor, Judge Kilbride. Yes, thank you, President. Um, in um, reference to the second issue that uh, the lead co-lawyers raised concerning uh, whether the Chamber has a uh, position on the is legal issue of raised judicata in relation to case 002-02 and subsequent um, uh, trials. Um, the Chamber considers it premature to discuss these issues um, at this point, uh, first because we um, await a decision from the Supreme Court Chamber which may well um, uh, clarify a few of these issues, uh, but uh, secondly we have indicated to the parties that after closing addresses are completed in case 002-01, we will be holding a trial management meeting where the issues such as raised judicata can be raised and all parties can uh, make their submissions at that point. So um, I hope that that uh, is sufficient answer for the lead co-lawyers at this point. Thank you, President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you, Judge Carwright. Merci, Madame le Juge. Now we move on to another topic, that is the additional individuals sought to be heard at trial. Les personnes dont il était demandé que Before we begin programme. discussing this issue, the Chamber Avant would like to remind our parties that pseudonyms should be used qu il faut utiliser les in the debate on each witness, dans le débat. and parties should not reveal any les information which may lead to a conclusion on the real identity of a witness, namely the current rank or position of a witness, except those who have already testified. À part pour ceux qui ont déjà déposé. Regarding Existing proposed witnesses and experts. In advance of the trial management meeting, the Kiosan Prosecutor requested clarification 
En avance de la conférence de mise en état, la défense de QSA avait demandé des précisions Hedder, sur le statut de l'expert proposé, Stephen Hedder. La Chambre indique que les efforts par la section d'appui au témoin expert d'obtenir son position sur un expert ou un témoin sont toujours en cours. La Chambre informera les parties en temps utile des dates de sa déposition, le cas échéant. Regarding the co-prosecutor's request Quant à la to recall TCCP 186, the Chamber advises that the renewed risk assessment by WISU evaluation des risques, la following is an expected in-court request for protective measures is expected very shortly. It is at present and clear If TCCP 186 will agree to be recalled si before the chamber, acceptera de comparaître devant la chambre. The chamber has therefore, la, and donc, contrary chambre, to what is alleged by ce, the accused defense, yet to take any affirmative decision on the co-prosecutor's request to recall this individual. Sur la dé, sur la so the accused and the defense oppose the co-prosecutor's request to recall this individual. Perhaps they could si now oppose this objection orally. Si la défense de QSAMPAN s'oppose à la demande des co-prosecutors de rappeler cet individu, peut-être peut-elle présenter ses objections verbalement maintenant. Excusez-moi, M. le Président, j'ai raté le, la fin de ce que vous disiez, mais pour ce qui concerne cette question, je crois que nous avons présenté nos observations par écrit E286.1 bar 1. Et pour préciser, afin que ce soit très clair, nous nous sommes opposés au rappel de cette personne. For clarity's sake, let me state that we are opposed to uh, this individual being recalled. Thank you. President, thank you for your Président, clarification. Merci pour cette précision. Regard, request regarding proposed additional witnesses and civil parties. Demande Over the course of the trial to date, the Chamber has heard or indicated that it will hear approximately 89 individuals. In advance of the TMM, The parties have given notice to the Chamber of request that an additional 17 individuals be heard before evidentiary proceedings in case 002-01 are concluded. The Chamber will provide opportunity for the parties to indicate why they consider it necessary to call these new individuals permettra aux parties d'indiquer pourquoi il juge nécessaire de faire comparaître ces nouvelles personnes et rendra sa décision prochainement sur la question de la comparution de ces personnes va se référer de la justice de les faire comparaître. Les co-procureurs vont demander que 10 nouvelles personnes soient citées à comparaître, 5 en relation au transfert forcé, 3 en relation avec tout le point de chérie, et 2 en relation avec le rôle des accusés. First, the co-prosecutors seek the testimony of TCW505, TCW386, And TCW 651 in relation to the first force movement regarding the policy to target the lunar regime. Notamment sur la politique in relation to the second phase of force movement and concerning the chairman, the co-prosecutors seek additionally to hear TCW 
Reserve list for calling sur in relation to force movement, but ultimately not heard sur les forcés, on grounds of repetitiveness. However, it notes that Toutefois, TCW 269 has never TCW previously been identified by the co-prosecutors or any party as potentially relevant to case 002-01, could the co-prosecutors now briefly elaborate on these five requests, particularly with regard to TCW 269? Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I will be brief. As, uh, you have, everyone has the document before them, E288-3, which we filed uh, on Tuesday, um, raising the, the 10 requests and uh, substantiating, substantiating within that uh, request. Um, perhaps I need to uh, just one, have one introductory remark. Uh, we understand, Your Honours, are saying that uh, this is the last opportunity to raise any, any genuinely novel issue regarding uh, witnesses. Um, and certainly um, the, these five particular witnesses, and it also relates to the other five, have only been put forward um, on the basis of uh, the prosecution um, making sure they have a, a, a reasonable opportunity to um, prove their case uh, beyond reasonable doubt. Um, as Your Honours are aware, Your Honours know, um, unless uh, any of the key allegations in this case are proved beyond reasonable doubt, um, on that particular allegation, um, the accused uh, must get the benefit of that doubt. Uh, we understand that it's a very high threshold. And so, to say that uh, these requests are genuinely novel, um, apart from the fact they have been raised before, other than uh, T69, uh, witness T69, um, they're novel in the sense that now the prosecution has had an opportunity to review the evidence as admitted in this late stage of the trial. We've reviewed the transcripts, we've reviewed the documents, and these requests are put forward uh, on the basis that we think it's our responsibility to put these forward in order that we have the best or at least a reasonable opportunity to prove uh, matters uh, beyond reasonable doubt. The, when the, these requests were put forward before, um, that was at a stage when certain witnesses hadn't been called to testify, and uh, that was at a stage when uh, the challenge to uh, particular aspects of this indictment um, was not as clear. And now, having reassessed and having seen the, the line of challenge um, from the defence in relation to this case défense, and having heard the evidence, nous avons uh, the prosecutors believe it's their responsibility to ensure that um, we have a reasonable uh, avoir la a, a reasonable uh, opportunity to uh, prove these aspects. De ces de so the reason why we ask for 
the three witnesses in relation to the first force movement, as your honours have uh, stated. It's to each of those three witnesses um, assist in proving the policy of targeting uh, individuals from the Lon Nol regime during and around that first force transfer. Um, that is a, uh, a significant allegation, a significant area in this case, as uh, murder charges arise out of that, that the accused uh, can be facing. In terms of, uh, it's clearly from Nu and Chia, particularly uh, in their recent motions, and. Uh, and both defence teams in the last number of weeks, um, it's very clear that this policy of targeting the Lol Nol regime is something that is uh, much debated by, uh, by those teams. And so, in order that we have the best opportunity to prove that policy, uh, we would like to call these three witnesses because the three of them come from different parts of the country uh, and as a result um, their evidence, and you can see from the motion, uh, shows that uh, there was a policy happening in different parts of the country or a practice in different parts of the country in the District 12 area and the Tram Kak area of the targeting of uh, Lon Nol uh, regime personnel. Du régime de and it's that, it's that pattern of conduct that's occurring um, around the country at the same time as the pays, force transfer, at the same time that the statements were being made about the super traitors and the killing of the super, tra super traitors from that regime, um, that we submit support nous, the that there was a policy in existence um, of targeting uh, members of the, the Lon Nol regime. Les du régime de uh, we can have uh, policy uh, obviously proved uh, directly through uh, conversations and, and documents and statements. And policy can also be proved through circumstantial evidence, through practice. La et via and, Your Honours, we would indirect. like to be clear we are not calling. We're not seeking to call these witnesses to try and uh, introduce evidence um, on other events that Your Honours have excluded uh, by virtue of the severance. So, TCW 386 and 651, who are from District 12, we ask for that District 12 to be um, the subject matter of this case, and uh, Your Honours have decided um, that that wouldn't be included. So, we're not seeking to um, ask for convictions if the evidence presents itself on District 12 as a criminal event. But the reason why we're putting these people si forward is so that we have a reasonable opportunity to show that there was a po policy of targeting Lon Nol regime. And these witnesses from Tramcac and District 12 all uh, provide evidence um, that uh, indicates that in fact was the case. And it's that pattern of behaviour across the country which we would um, uh, certainly be arguing um, at the end of the case that is yeux, evidence of a policy of targeting those, targeting those particular soldiers. Sorry, um, targeting those particular former members of the regime. And one thing we can say, Your Honour, in terms of timing, uh, we do not propose that any of these five witnesses, let alone um, the ten, uh, would take up um, uh, a lot of time. What we are proposing is half a day each per witness. So, in relation to the ten, but I know you're asking now in relation to the five, we would be asking for two and a half days, uh, a witness in the morning, a witness in the afternoon, and we would just absolutely focus in on the reason why they were called. And we wouldn't be asking questions about um, all other areas um, that uh, are not the main reason for, being, for them being called, which is the targeting of the Lon Nol regime. Uh, we feel that um, we need this opportunity to, um, to uh, have the best opportunity to uh, prove um, this issue in the case, which uh, Your Honours obviously will be judging on uh, shortly. In relation to the 
and, and the descriptions in the filing, Your Honor, I think that's, they speak for themselves. Nos écritures um, sont éloquentes, uh, se passent des commentaires. Support, um, I believe what I am saying today. In relation to the second force movement, um, le deuxième transfert forcé. These uh, two witnesses, um, 215 and 269, um, 215 have been et 269. requested in order to support um, the paragraphs in the indictment which are the subject of this case. De de clôture, qui sont visés par ce and those um, paragraphs are 266, 268, and 281. And in those paragraphs which uh, relate to the, the second force transfer, um, forcé, your honors will see that it talks about the planning of the second force transfer was, uh, or the reason for the second force transfer. Two reasons have been put forward um, in the allegations. One reason being uh, to move uh, labor forces from uh, uh, the, the, the south of the country to the north of the country as a significant reason. And another reason was um, put forward in the allegations was to disperse the Cham population. Um, and we, we understand, uh, we absolutely accept Your Honour's position um, that uh, you have put forward in your second severance order decision, which dealt with uh, our request um, for including some witnesses to support these paragraphs in the indictment. And our request was uh, dated on the 8th of April. Uh, 2013, and it's E279. E and we note what your honours have said in relation to that request. Um, even if it's arguable that the factual allegations si surrounding the population movement could be recharacterised as persecutions on religious grounds or genocide, the trial chamber has previously ruled that these charges have been excluded from the scope of the first trial and would be part of further trials, um, if any. And so we accept that position. And in that motion, we ask for two things. One, um, to, uh, to, call, um, to call these witnesses um, on the basis that perhaps the facts could be recharacterized. And that decision um, clearly said that you would not be recharacterizing the charges, les other than what you have in the second severance decision, vous dites but que vous en tiendrez perhaps à one aspect that uh, wasn't answered, and we were seeking your um, answer on this, is that because réglé, the second force réponse. transfer um, that's included um, in this case, um, par the, the reasons procès, provided for that force transfer et donc, was to move the population and one was to disperse the CHAM. Y compris, and I won't read those paragraphs out, but it's clear. Cham, et je ne vais pas lire ces um, it's important that the prosecution um, receives an opportunity to be able to prove those paragraphs, not to prove the genocide of the CHAM, not to prove any other charges other than uh, what's in this uh, severed trial, but just to prove that Suite the force transfer, Il de the second force transfer, le transfer was done without legal justification. Fait sans and justification those paragraphs point to that non-legal justification of dispersing, ce du um, dispersing the, um, the CHAM de la population. population. Cham. So, Your Honours, if, as we've had no witnesses uh, no CHAM witnesses on this particular point to prove this uh, unlawful purpose of the, of the forced population, um, we may well be left with, we may well be in a position where we haven't really been given the opportunity to, dis to prove um, that one of the reasons for the second force movement was to disperse the CHAM community. And then that will reduce our ability du coup, uh, to show that the force transfer, the second force transfer, wasn't lawful because it will largely illégal. take away one of those reasons. De ces and so, um, Your Honours, the, you know, the argument um, is hopefully clear um, que mon in, our, in our motion clair, and uh, the descriptions of the witnesses of how they would assist in proving that are there. Témoins, 
Um, and so, Your Honours, that is the reason uh, for asking for those um, two witnesses. And as far as um, TCW 269, Again, um, we're submitting this is a, a genuinely uh, novel request in the sense that um, uh, TCCP 215 was on the trial TCCP chambers uh, reserve uh, witness list. list de um, de we perhaps, uh, you know, we're, we're of an assumption that uh, that witness may well may well be called. Um, that witness hasn't been called, and we think uh, to reasonably meet. Um, the proof pour nous to show that was one of the reasons of the second force movement um, it would be um, reasonable to call two witnesses rather than one. And again, Your Honours, uh, we would be proposing half a day for one witness, nouveau, half a day for another. And so it would be two and a half days in total. Dit, total and these witnesses are only being put forward um, to um, make sure that we have the best opportunity to argue the case that we think exists in relation to the Londonol policy and uh, one of the illegal reasons for the second uh, force transfer, Ainsi, and for no other reason, certainly not asking for uh, uh, a re-characterization um, at the end of this trial, we understand that quite clearly, and we would like to deal with these points Cela very effectively and very efficiently, so it doesn't take up uh, too much de uh, time of the chamber. Efficace, Thank you. Sans prendre trop du temps de la chambre. The President. Yes, Judge, you may proceed. Yes, thank you, President. I have one um, question, Mr. Smith. Uh, I think the Chamber fully understands the um, reasons that you uh, set out for seeking these five witnesses, uh, but uh, I am a little concerned about the way Mais in which you estimate the time for each of them. Uh, I, I can't recall any witness during um, this trial that has taken as little as half a day. Um, uh, and I'm wondering if in your calculation you have included the opportunity for other parties to examine si dans votre um, these five vous avez witnesses in your calculation of a total of two and a half days. Pour parvenir à ce chiffre de deux journées et demie au total. Uh, Your Honours, uh, we have, and I know I can understand you thinking it might be wishful thinking from the prosecution side um, in order to make uh, the proposition de more attractive. But um, we submit it's a, it's a genuine proposition, a genuine request, um, and um, what uh, the prosecution uh, would, would do, um, as I've stated, we would focus particularly just on that particular issue, sur cette and we would not focus uh, on, on other issues other than uh, the reason why they were called. Questions. And we feel that um, if, we, we, if we are targeted in comparer. our questioning, si and we uh, state that we will be, ciblé, um, ce qui based cas, on uh, dit, an understanding that uh, this trial um, has to, to finish in a, in a a, re, a very short period of time or a reasonable period of time, we will do that. And uh, I nous think uh, you've seen that uh, um, we can be very economic in with our questions if we make sure um, and understand that that's the Chamber's expectation. So it would efficace. include um, the other parties uh, questioning. Et donc, uh, cette durée inclut le the President. Thank you very much for uh, clarifying. Merci that. pour ces éclaircissements. Does any party object y a -il to des the proposal to hear any of these additional individuals at trial as uh, proposed by the prosecutor? Um, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. It, it will not come as a surprise Vous ne serez pas that étonné. we do not object to uh, the proposed witnesses from, uh, by the prosecution when it comes to uh, the, the first forced movement from the policy targeting the London regime and the two post-trade execution sites. Those le de witnesses, uh, 505-386-651, 
381 ainsi que les témoins concernant um, les exécutions de tout le portrait. Right, um, en effet, l'accusation a they raison when they are arguing in this motion and also lorsqu'elle soutient uh, dans ce document et verbalement que la défense de Nunchia conteste l'existence de cette politique et conteste les événements de Tool Portray, raison pour laquelle nous avons déposé une demande hier tendant à entendre cinq autres témoins sur Tool Portray. I will come to our request later if, if you, Je vais if you revenir will, uh, plus tard this question, à notre requête. We do have a problem, um, with Mais two witnesses in respect deux of témoins the nous posent problème movement. concernant le deuxième transfert uh, forcé. I, I really can't see, uh, why this is a genuine, Je ne vois pas pourquoi uh, ce serait uh, une uh, question issue. authentiquement um, nouvelle. Uh, this is something that has been known all along and those two chose witnesses should have been asked uh, depuis le début. At, at, at the beginning. Ces deux comparutions ont dû être envisagées dès le début. Je ne vois donc pas pourquoi il est nécessaire et ni pertinent d'entendre TCCP 215 et 215. Le président interrompt. Le président Council, could you please uh, refer to the uh, two uh, witnesses uh, you uh, referred to? Les deux because en question, uh, it appears that uh, it was lost in the translation. Cela pas été traduit. Yes, uh, sorry, President. Um, we, I'm, I'm referring oui, to uh, TCCP 215 TCW 674 et 269. Ça, c'est les deux témoins pour le transfert forcé. Nous les contestons là. Nous aurons des choses à dire concernant le rôle de Kessampian 1647-1-8. Bon, Monsieur le Président, moi, je, je ferai surtout remarquer que je charge encore euh, la barque euh, avec des éléments supplémentaires, euh, voilà, 10 témoins qui sont réclamés, plus 5 si on ajoute TCCP 186. Je ne sais pas vraiment quoi répondre sur le principe, si vous voulez, euh, que le procureur fasse ton travail, j'y vois pas d'objection. Euh, mais d'une manière générale, je dirais que ça aurait déjà dû être fait depuis longtemps et puis que je préférerais me disposer de ce temps euh, pour préparer un mémoire plus long et plaider correctement. Et puis surtout, euh, ces, ces, ces demandes me paraissent venir très tardivement et euh, elles sont arrivées le 10 juin. Alors, euh, comme nous étions en audience, euh, je n'ai pas eu le temps de regarder dans le détail euh, les dépositions de ces personnes et je ne suis pas euh, aujourd'hui en mesure de souscrire ou de m'opposer à l'estimation qui est faite par M. le procureur euh, du temps de contre-interrogatoire qui serait nécessaire pour ces témoins euh, si vous les acceptiez. Donc ça, c'est une difficulté à laquelle euh, je ne suis pas en état maintenant euh, de répondre. Je ne peux pas ni m'opposer ni souscrire, car je, je n'ai pas eu le temps de regarder les dépositions de ces gens en détail et de pouvoir faire une estimation et de la fournir. In detail and to assess the time required by the co-prosecutors. Thank you, Le President. Um, Mr. Prosecutor, Merci. you may proceed. La parole est à l'accusation. Um, Your Honor, just a brief response because I know there's a lot to get through. Répondre, um, just in relation to um, my learned friend uh, from Mr. Q. Sampan's defence team, these requests in relation to the first force move are not late. Le uh, the prosecutor made these requests, requests um, years ago. Il y a des années, in relation to um, the second force movement le um, forcé, put forward and the um, mentioned by uh, the Council for New and Cheer that um, 
TCCP215, TCCP otherwise known as TCW674, TCW um, was not put forward before. That witness, in la fact, was put forward before. Pas été présenté, the only witness that hasn't been put forward before by the prosecution, la well, in fact, Proposé, uh, it has, en fait, and that was on the 8th été, of May, on the 8th of April, in the filing avril, E279, but, uh, but wasn't put before that. So all of these witnesses have been put forward to your honours before, um, and of course this is what happens when we get towards the end of a trial, voilà particularly en fin uh, in the civil system, it's ultimately your honours that decide which of the witnesses that come to court. So, until such time that you advise us what your final decisions are, which you have done, and, and we appreciate that, it's only then can the parties realise what, witness, what witnesses you are excluding. So the issue that uh, these requests are late um, is just, just doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't make any sense. As far as the timing, Your Honours, um, just by analogy, if we look at uh, the four civil parties uh, par that were heard Prenons per day in that part of the hearing, um, I think you know, that type of economic questioning uh, would, be, would certainly be adopted uh, by the prosecution in that regard. The President, thank you. Question. Uh, secondly, the co-prosecutors request to hear the testimony of three or five lieu, individuals who appear in a video excerpt relevant to the executions at Dolpochre, and this video has been admitted into evidence before the chamber. These individuals have not previously been identified as relevant to K002 and this request is therefore in substance a request to hear new evidence pursuant to Internal Rule 874. Could the prosecutor now address this request in more detail and indicate in particular why specifically three of these individuals are sought? Thank you, Your Honour. Pourquoi Your Honor, we, we've asked for the uh, three of five personnes. individuals from the video uh, one day uh, at Poitre, E186.1R is the video, which has been um, admitted by the Chamber. La vidéo qui a été and that admise. video was in fact um, put on the civil Cette parties uh, document list dans la liste back de in des parties April. Um, April 2011, and then uh, the co-prosecutors got the copy of that video and in a separate request put that video um, to the chamber um, because it didn't have the copy of it prior to that um, and it was admitted by the chamber um, Et la chambre as new evidence, even though um, it was identified in April uh, 2011. Si Your Honor, avril this, this relates the reason why we've asked for uh, these si three witnesses from this video is that, well, firstly, the reason why we're asking for um, further witnesses in relation to Tool Potray. As Your Honour knows, um, that two witnesses Comme have appeared savez, before this court uh, in relation to uh, the executions as alleged uh, in the indictment. And looking at the testimony of, the, of those witnesses, si in some respects, témoins, uh, matters that appeared in uh, the statement um, did not uh, come out as uh, um, matters that were sort of upheld by the witnesses when they testified. Um, we would be submitting their evidence as still uh, probative and uh, would definitely assist in proving uh, the executions at Tulpo Trey. But their testimony did fall short to a certain extent of the evidence that they gave uh, in their statements. Events perhaps that were mentioned in their statements that. Uh, uh, they said they saw dans les um, in their testimony on questioning, um, they choses, said they heard. Et dans le ils ont dit avoir and it was choses. clear that uh, when your honours um, 
selected witnesses uh, based on, I suppose, uh, requests from the prosecution, um, des demandes de that je suppose, it may have been assumed that what we saw what we could see in the statements would in fact be um, que fully supported les PV uh, in their testimony. Dans and as that, as that did not occur, what, and because Nguyen Chia uh, defense team um, challenged this, uh, la défense, these Nguyen executions a um, a in, in the way that they appear in the indictment um, um, quite strongly. Comme dans and la in order that the prosecution gets a, a reasonable forte, opportunity donc, to to la prove de donc à these events, events la possibilité de prouver we would like to call um, at least three other witnesses. And we could, of course, um, you know, put forward the witnesses, the five witnesses that um, Nguyen Chia have uh, requested in relation to um, sûr, the execution sites. The five witnesses that provided um, statements to the offices of uh, the co-investigative, co-investigating judges' offices, and in fact, if if this request is granted, and the three witnesses that we si would like to testify from this video um, cannot be found, we believe they can be. Um, then we would be calling for. Um, the witnesses, certainly at least three of them, that were put on Nu and Chia's list, which he would like, uh, he would like to have called. Qui se retrouve sur la liste des personnes and the reason why um, we're asking for these witnesses now, these particular witnesses now from the video, and not, uh, not before, is firstly, when we put our witness list out, que, um, in 2011, the video wasn't available, even though it appeared on the, even though it appeared on the uh, civil parties si uh, document list in April 2011, the actual hard copy of the video wasn't made available till uh, till later, uh, later that year or early in 2012. And when we received a copy of that video, we placed it on the case file. So we had no opportunity to be identify those particular witnesses from the video because the uh, director at that stage wouldn't release it uh, to us. Donc pas proposer les témoins so, dans le vidéo, car le therefore, vidéo why these pas three people, une copie. Your Honours, if, if I can just take up just a moment, because the, the descriptions, I think Your Honours have seen the video, but there were three uh, soldiers, uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers, that uh, were there and present at the execution scene. And if I can just quote from one, he stated, um, he drove, drove, this is from the video, he drove important officials of the Lon Nol regime uh, to Tulpo Trail on the third day after liberation. He talked to them to make them feel relaxed. They did not know why they were about to be killed. They thought they were going to meet the prince and study. He already knew about the plan that they would be killed. Um, Your Honours, perhaps, perhaps I won't go any further with the descriptions, perhaps for maybe obvious reasons, but the descriptions of these three people in the video les que ces trois personnes dans vidéo, appear to be far better evidence than the information obtained in the uh, OCIJ interviews que ce que a vu dans um, les relating to TCW 644-699-803-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-689-
that case beyond reasonable doubt. Um, the defence, and obviously they will plead, but the defence would like an opportunity to um, disprove la, la it and show that uh, the event didn't occur, um, certainly in the way that's in the indictment. Cela, and we have witnesses before this court that, despite the fact they have given probative evidence, and um, because they have um, fallen short in a couple of areas, y a des um, that is why we're making the request now. This request wouldn't have been made, um, perhaps, if the testimony um, didn't fall short in a si couple of areas. And so, um, I'm, I'm unsure whether uh, the defense, Nguyen Chia defense team have closely looked at the video, mm, si defense, um, um, but certainly um, we can, uh, in a filing to Your Honor, put the descriptions. Mais nous I've got descriptions here uh, of uh, what each of these three witnesses from the video have said. I think Your Honours have actually seen it in a, in a document dit, hearing. Je pense que vous avez and vu um, um, where the best evidence is available, uh, particularly in a a criminal case, as you know, uh, Your savez, Honours, um, um, the best evidence, whether it be for the prosecution or the defence, should be put forward. And we submit um, the three statements il faut made cette um, on video à la as, as to be directly participating on and direct, directly observing um, uh, uh, the executions directement. in les one way or another. another should be the, the top uh, priority witnesses um, that should be called. Certainly, if any of them um, could not come, we would ask that some of the witnesses that were uh, identified by the, the Nguyen Chia team, Nguyen Chia and perhaps, if I can say, in order of importance, 644-699-803-689, that those three witnesses from the video be replaced by one, two, or three of the witnesses identified um, by the Nguyen Chia team, um, so that we have a, a reasonable opportunity to be able to prove, not just prove the case, but prove the case um, in, re, in, in the form that's been alleged uh, in the indictment. And so, Notre That's the reason for uh, requesting the video witnesses ce, uh, rather than uh, the OCIJ witnesses, because it's our assessment ce, donc, um, that it's just better evidence. Par, uh, and you want to hear the better evidence personnes, uh, rather than um, uh, something uh, 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 not les as good, as we would par say, significant. Thank you. Il faudrait faire The President, thank you. Uh, lead call lawyer, you may proceed. Oui, très rapidement, Monsieur le Président, simplement pour indiquer que briefly, Mr. President, I just les quoi to say principaux that soutiennent the la demande de Monsieur les procureurs, de même que la demande des précédents témoins pour laquelle je ne me suis pas levé à temps. As nous pensons que les procureurs do, sont tout à fait à même d'apprécier les pièces dont ils ont besoin dans la mesure où ils doivent faire la preuve des charges, donc uh, nous leur faisons confiance à ce sujet. Merci. Thank you. The President, how about the defense uh, team? Do you have uh, any objection to the proposal by uh, the prosecution to hear any of these additional individuals at trial? Mr. Copé, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'm mindful of the time, so I'll be brief. Uh, yesterday, as I just mentioned already, uh, we filed our urgent request to summon three witnesses in respect of two questions. Uh, there we have laid down the demand to uh, those witnesses, those uh, five witnesses that we identified. Uh, are so important and crucial uh, to ascertain the truth. Nous avons um, it is right that we are contesting uh, the events uh, at Tupo-Cherry as described in the closing order. Uh, uh, we contest that there was a policy of targeting and killing uh, law-known officials. Um, we have laid out in, in, in our uh, request um, um, that indeed those same two witnesses that the prosecution is referring to Nous would, would have triggered for the Nguyen the defense team, to have those witnesses uh, that we have described here uh, added. 
Uh, along, according Nous avons to those same lines, we understand that the prosecution is asking for those uh, uh, witnesses. Raison. In the, uh, in the video, although um, what we don't understand enfin, is why not also the documentary pas. maker Ted Sambat uh, is being requested as a witness because that would seem to make sense. He would be able to, le uh, to uh, shed light on the way the people were found, de whether there were other people uh, that he interviewed who didn't see anything or, or, or have been saying contravening things. Des, des um, but the bottom line etc. is that we agree to disagree on uh, what happened at Tupo Tre um, and uh, whether there was a, in fact, a policy of killing Nous avons notre soldiers. Position sur That's ce qui why passé we have asked uh, for these witnesses, uh, as mentioned in our request, si to be before uh, the Nous chamber. Avons à ce que ces gens Basically, what's happening is that the prosecuting prosecutor is flying from another angle. L'accusation uh, adopte une position uh, différente. And, and asking the same thing. So that's why um, uh, we do not object to those nous specific witnesses being pas à ce que asked uh, by the prosecution. Um, I have a question I might, I don't know if, if that would be the opportunity to, to, um, uh, to say some more about our request uh, to the some key witnesses because it's the same subject, but I, I leave that up to you, mindful of the time. Thank you for the question. It's on the same subject, but I see the clock, so I'm going to remind you, Mr. President. The President. Le President. The Chamber wishes to advise parties and members of the public that uh, at this uh, uh, juncture of uh, proceeding on case 002 slash 01, there are only a few remaining issues uh, to be resolved. There has been a request by the defense team for um, certain witnesses that uh, the defense uh, team intends uh, to raise, but we are running out of time. And this afternoon, uh, the chamber has scheduled to hear the testimony of uh, witness Sim Hao. Uh, the resumption of this afternoon hearing will begin with the question put by the defense team. And for this reason, uh, the chamber cannot estimate uh, the exact time uh, for the uh, hearing of the testimony of Sim Hao this uh, afternoon. For this reason, uh, when we resume this afternoon, uh, we will continue to hear the testimony of uh, witness Sim Hao as uh, the chamber 
uh, advise the party and the general public Car yesterday. Uh, the hearing party. will uh, begin at 1.30 uh, this afternoon. And if we can conclude this testimony earlier, si uh, then uh, the TMM uh, will uh, resume. Nous reprendrons avec la réunion de conférence de Milanita. Because there are actually only a few remaining issues uh, that uh, we need to address uh, in this meeting. Uh, we probably need uh, around an hour or so. So uh, that is the uh, tentative schedule of the uh, chamber. Uh, the court is now adjourned, and we will resume at 1.30 uh, this afternoon, and we will begin uh, hearing the uh, question put uh, to witness uh, Simhao by the defense team according to the schedule. Thank you. Merci.